Ah. Hello, your majesty, and hello, uh, Mueller. At long last, the Courageous has finally taken to the skies of Erebonia. <laughs> I feel like a mother hen watching her chicks leave the nest. I'll take your word for it. Um, this may sound a bit forward of me to say, but... You're crazy! It sounds like you had some hurdles getting this project together. Of course he does. Just because he's royalty doesn't necessarily mean he's got it easy. <laughs> it was no easy ride, I'll say that. Okay, he's got it easier than most people, but that's beside the point. I doubt it would have come together without the prince's unwavering dedication and tireless work. He had to find the time to raise funds and oversee the entire project, in addition to all his official duties. And to add to that, he had to take care of all the arrangements necessary to get Viscount Arce installed as its captain. I can't even imagine how busy your schedule must have been. Even from a student's perspective, it sounds brutal. He made the decision, did he not? Well, for this ship to have any weight as a deterrent, I needed the Viking. Thankfully, he agreed to my request. My plan is to create a neutral third power capable of acting independently of our nation's two competing factions. You can think of the Courageous as the first physical embodiment of that idea. Hmm. A third party, huh? I feel like I'm starting to understand at least part of what it is you're trying to accomplish. The road will be a difficult one. True, but this is only the beginning. Yes, indeed, but you have me immensely worried of what this beginning looks like. Well, not like this, but I mean like... I got the feeling that yes, it looks nice now, it's handling nice now, but are you positive you're not going to get some kind of retaliar uh, retaliation from uh, Osborne? Or for that matter, the noble factions? Which is funny if you think about it, considering they say that they're loyal to the Imperial family. And yet, every chance they get, they more or less just say, fuck you. Okay, everything works, y'all can hear me. And the game, which is all that I care about. Seeing this ship Thank soar goodness through the for that. for the first time moves my heart. Just as when Class 7 was formally established. I look forward to seeing what the future holds for the courageous. And for the brave men and women of your class. Oh, I'm excited. It's gonna be a hell of a time. Your Highness. We live in interesting times. You're not kidding. The political situation across the Empire seems to grow more ominous by the day. But, with any luck, making a real show out of this ship's launch will push back against the prevailing climate. I have doubts about that. Well, that's the hope, at least. Either way, you'll have your whole life to split hairs about politics. For now, keep your attention to your field step. Thank you. I know you have high expectations for us. And I hope we'll be able to meet them. Well, I'm blind. Okay, I've spoken to the front, I've spoken to the rear. Where else am I supposed to go? Why do I have a feeling there's one conversation that's happening in every part of the stand bridge? Simply put, too much. Hello, Sharon. No, not at all. They're just having a friendly conversation about how much her mother is a workaholic. Ah, uh, 
so she was essentially kind of a neighbor. How quaint. Yeah, that is a very bizarre mix if you look at it that way. Because Angelica does not act like a noble from the, um, one of the great houses, to speak, so to speak. Because the nobles are very, what's the word I'm looking for? Old-fashioned, old-school, annoying. It's just, to name a few, to be honest. Again, it's going to be a hard time trying to get this fixed. Ow. I have to periodically do checks because I am jumping between can they hear me to I hear too much background noise. Which is probably hearing from my um, thing. surprising as you'd think, Sharon. <laughs> Was it? You're not wrong. There hasn't been a single field study where things just, you know, decided to take it a little too far in the crazy zone. Where else would you like me to go, game? I don't know the places here. I'm going to the bridge. I'm assuming we're going to be talking to the captain. It was a big secret of Project Laura. He couldn't go quite spatting it out, you know. Well, that's because in case the deterrent doesn't work, they need to fight. Or, in some cases, perhaps run for their lives. 
which is also a very good thing. enough. Well, she's not what you think she is. I can guarantee you that. I'm sorry, my heart belongs to one man and one man only. Reen, you don't want to know. Meanwhile, Laura's like, you know, I can hear you too. <sighs> Fucking course it is. I'd be more worried if he didn't care. Wait, okay, I've spoken to everyone. Where else would you like me to go, game? Who am I missing? Machias doesn't want to talk to shit. Okay, I'm just gonna have to start pressing buttons. Boarding gate? I guess I can't go that way. Uh, what are you? Also the boarding gate. Can't go that way. We've been to the front deck, I'm presuming. Yes, 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 yes. We've been to the front. Attention all crew members and passengers. Really? We will soon be entering Ruhr airspace. Okay. Please prepare for landing and make sure you have all personal effects with you before disembarking. Sounds like we're almost there. That was a shorter flight than I'd expected. Guess I'd better go round up the others and start getting ready. I'm sure they all heard that. I don't think they need you to, you know, do that. Just saying. Brewer Airport's granted us permission to land. Commence landing preparations and keep the engine warm. We'll be taking off again right after our guests have disembarked. Aye, aye, Captain. Preparing the courageous to land. Don't we always make them count? to outdo class one. We've already proven we're the better, we're the superior one. watching this are probably thinking what the hell 
is that thing? Oh my god, the chat's in the middle of the freaking thing. Hello, Selby. Um... What is happening here? I don't need this. Lock that. We don't want to accidentally take that anywhere. Lock that. Um, This is going to be a problem. You know what? For now, we're just going to hide the chat. Sorry, guys. We'll figure out something. enjoy an anime with your mother. Now that's a nice bonding experience to share. I don't know, Selby. We could have quite the conundrum on our hands. Welcome to Ruer, the hometown of technology and a bunch of bull. said you were. You're the one who said you were. Not me. You're putting words in my mouth. I said autistic people are just as lovely as gay people because they're far nicer than the straight people. I never said they were one and the same. Chaos are we gonna see in Bella Pier? Hmm? I'm presuming the first place we go is gonna be up these. I think they're always trying to show off. Looks like a clock tower with a giant hat on it. She said. Yeah, and I can only imagine what kind of damage that's doing to the environment.
Yeah, so, so y'all know you're from a rich fucking family. Off we go. Alyssa, you're the daughter of the chairman of the company. Of course, they're gonna treat you like freaking royalty. You should have been prepared for this. I would never go on an elevator with glass windows. Uh-uh. Or if you force me on one of them damn things, I am going to stare at the one piece of the elevator that's going to be just pure solid. So I don't see shit because I do not like elevators. I hate them. In fact, I hate heights. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I hate glass lifts. I hate them. Even the so the pure solid ones, I, I just don't like elevators. I hate them. There's too many horror stories about them getting stuck. So it looks like the Courageous' inaugural flyover in Heimdall and Ruhr was a success. Lady, how are you typing like that, first off? Secondly, isn't it a bit rude to be on the phone while you're trying to talk to students? And thirdly, yes, it was, but I don't guess. don't release an official statement until tomorrow. Huh? Yes, that'll be fine. Oh. Yes, I'd like you to begin as soon as possible. Isn't it a bit rude to be doing business in front of your children when you know they were going to be in the whole class? And keep a careful eye out for any insider trading. Hello, Arena Reinford speaking. Mm hmm. Yes, I understand. Fast track the construction on the special train if you can. No, pay it no mind. I doubt Crossbell related shares rising is indicative of a larger market trend. But sell them all early next month. Timing is key here. Ooh. Wow. She's like a commander issuing orders across multiple fronts. Essentially, that's exactly what a businesswoman or a CEO is. Yeah, it's impressive to see Toa do it, but Mrs. Reinford seems to have it down to a science. But notice how, out of all of you who are impressed, Alessa is the only one who's not. <laughs> She's a general on the battlefield of business. Sure. Alyssa? Oh, I know Alyssa's used to it. We all have other matters we need to attend to, so I'll get right to the point. Here. What? 
Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, okay, guys, let's just be fair here. She's a businesswoman and she's got shit to do. She don't have time to, like, do idle chat. Here's your damn things. There's a door. Bye. It's rude, but it's to be expected of people of her caliber. I've cleared my schedule to dine with you this evening, so anything you wish to discuss can wait until then. I'll leave the rest to you, Sharon. As you wish, Madam Chairman. When do you expect to return this evening? I'm planning on seven. Have our guests enjoy a night cruise, if you will. That sounds splendid. I'll make the necessary arrangements. That's it? That's all you have to say? Oh, boy. I don't care if you ignore me. That's nothing new. But my classmates are here, and you're on our board of directors. Would it kill you to show at least a little interest? Yes. Lisa. Whoa, well, Lisa, it's okay. You don't need to get worked up for our sake. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Huh? If you want to return in one piece, I'd suggest you steer clear of the provincial army and the railway military police. <laughs> She just completely blew over what her daughter just said. The same goes for the Marquis's mansion, though I can't imagine what business would take you there. Use common sense, and don't try to overstep your bounds. That'll be all. Have I prepared, prepared a volcano. Alyssa is going to erupt in just a few seconds. Wow, your mom's a real piece of work, Alyssa. Crow. Crow, I don't think it's a good idea to be pointing out these matters to eventually get your ass in trouble. The army only wishes it was that efficient. She certainly has the metal to head up an international company like this, to say the least. I don't know if it's quite fair to say Alyssa's an attention whore. I mean... There are times she really does display that kind of mentality, but at the same time, she's a child looking for her mother's approval, and her mother is just dead set against it, giving her that. So I understand it to a degree. Oh, see? You see why I didn't want to come back now? You can't tell me that gave you a great impression of her. Alyssa, the first time I met your mother, even before this, she did not give me a great impression. I'm just stating. I think you're being a little hard on her. And if we're being honest, you did not exactly give us a, a very good first impression either. You slapped Reen for trying to help you. She was looking out for our safety, giving us that advice. Ugh, just forget it. Getting all worked up and storming off in a huff is what she wants me to do, and I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. Uh, okay. We'll be back before sundown, Sharon. I'd like you to have the guest rooms and dinner preparations sorted by then. Oh, and see to our luggage, would you? <laughs> As you wish. Have a safe trip, everyone. They've got the money and the power to do it. Just leave it to Sharon. She fucking teleports. She'll be fine. Again, like I said, no. I think the son of a bitch just teleports. Um, that scenario is... Far more likely than you'd expect, uh, Fee. She's a maid, Crow. What do maids do? Sharon is interesting. I'll say that much. see one that I'm doing and that is this one. Uh, 
Alyssa, I hate to say this, but I don't give a shit what your mother thinks. I'm a streamer, I've got things to do, I don't have all day to do the same damn quests I've been doing 50 times over. Okay, so... Wait, these aren't the doors? Where are the doors? Oh my god. This place is so goddamn huge, it's so hard to find a way out of here. I'm going to assume that quest was... No bits down here. Okay, noted. Some do, but not all of them. I sincerely doubt These Sharon is one of them. Convenient. I know, right? I could see them building some in Heimdall eventually. Wait, it was upstairs. Whoops. That's why it's right next to the Rhineford building. Storms from yes, do we're students from Thor's Military Academy. How may we serve you today? Yes, I have. He's a douchebag. The same kind of name that is called Usus. Very close to something else. People of this child decided to call him a rat. Uh, the people who are father and mother, well, not father and mother, but parents to Eustace wanted to call him useless. Either that, or they just suck at picking names. Which most will argue that is the problem because people just don't know how to pick names. was He's not a wizard, just a very cranky old man. That's all I could say on the matter. He's a cranky old man. 
Of course it does. Would he like a slap on the bum too? If it isn't already apparent, I do not like Pro Professor Smith, and you will find out much later why. The simplest way I can sum him up is that he is your typical researcher that only cares about himself and his progress. He does not give a shit about anything else or anyone else. It doesn't matter who he hurts to achieve what he wants. As long as he gets the results, he doesn't care how it's done. So no, I don't like this guy. So, in other words, you guys just want to make a NASCAR vehicle out of a fucking flying airship. Next thing you know, they'll be making it go to space. No, he's far from being the easiest man. He is. haven't exactly had any time, Selby. <laughs> if I'm not editing videos, I'm sleeping. Or working on my other job. Why can't we just ride up there? before we even get there. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't expecting this path to be so steep. You're the ones who said Man, just think of this as a part of your training. Up. Left, right, left, right. <laughs> a dangerous foe. Stay on guard. You tell them, Crow. You tell them. They're the ones who are bitching you out about, you know, needing to be in shape, and yet they're the ones bitching.
No, not really. I've seen better. What car? Oh, that car. I was about to say, it looks like the RMP. Interesting. Exactly what is the RMP doing? all places. Perhaps they're trying to coerce the miners into giving them their pre the precious minerals to them versus, you know, anyone else. It's just an idea. great idea but I don't think um, pissing off the RM the yeah the RMP is quite the uh, preferred method of making our mission here fun part-time in a mi mining facility? Oh, that must be scandalous. Of course you don't. She's not exactly like your typical no uh, noble. Fortunate crow. Uh, far from it.
why. Is it possible that they suspect them, uh, the mining facility working with the, the um, Imperial Liberation Front? Or, for that matter, the Noble Faction? be fine. I can guarantee you we will be more than enough for whatever is lurking. Just saying. Yes, Crow, that's it. That's exactly what I was expecting. I'm sorry, considering my record with these monsters, I'm pretty sure it's not that dangerous. Now, Nosferatu and Lagram. Oh, what a nice that, treasure chest. That was a, a little tough cookie. But we prevailed. Took a couple of tries, but we prevailed. It's a Garfield as the bat! It's a Garfield bat! turn somewhere. Excuse me. This is not how I want my party, thank you. Thank you. My turn. Right. My turn. Eat left. I thought you'd auto aim crow. So by a giant mushroom. That's not exactly something I was ever planning to ever have to say. Okay. My turn. Now. 
Off all the time. Unless it's a really tough monster, then I will. Well, we found what we were looking for. Can we please leave now? I'm not exactly fond of dark caverns. Especially considering, you know, there are other things in here besides whatever the fuck those flea things are in the flying bats and the giant mushroom. <laughs> there are bigger things to worry about, like spiders by chance? And I'd much rather not be here so, if somebody somehow summons so, another fucking spider monster. Here we go. I'll handle it. Right. My turn. Fast run there. That one looks annoying. Watch out. Yes, it runs away from me quite frequently. Mm -hmm. Flappity flap flap bird. If I were to see something like this in the distance, if I lived in this area and I just had been walking down the street, that would be a magnificent sight because I guarantee you this place is lit up like a, the 4th of July. Meaning, it's gotta be a hell of a light show. So these people might not even know what the hell the stars look like. Especially with all those environmental lights.
I got your thing. You say that now, Machias, you say that now. off between the military and the provincial army. Didn't your mother warn you about going near these things, Alyssa? They blocked the escalator? then how the fuck did he get down? Is there a ladder or something over here? What is this? Oh. I suppose that works too. 